Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. In this video, I am going to show you how I create this black smoky eye. So hopefully you guys can create this too. So the first thing I'm gonna do is prime my eyelids and I'm using the MAC Cosmetics Paint Pot in the color Soft Ochre. I'm using a Sigma Beauty P84 brush and I'm blending this all the way on top of my eyelid. This is gonna make sure that my eyeshadow is gonna stay flawless all day and it removes the redness from the eyelids. So for today's eye look, like I said, I'm gonna create a smoky eye. So of course you're gonna need black eyeshadow and I'm gonna start blending this in circular motions around the outer portion of the eyelid. I'm not going in with too much product straight away. I kind of like to build it up. So first I will just go in with a tiny bit of product and then I will dip my brush back into the eyeshadow and go in with more and more later on. Um, the thing is that if you go in with a lot of product straight away, it's harder to blend out and if you apply too much, you can't really get rid of it. So I like to go in with less product and add more if it's needed instead of going in with too much and then having to fix it, if you know what I mean. So I'm just gonna start uh, blending this and then when I have blended it in a circular motion in the outer portion of the eyelid, I'm gonna start blending this towards the middle part of my crease as well. I just like to take it slow because this is actually the most important step when it comes to creating a smoky eye. Normally when I create a smoky eye, would, I would actually do it a little bit different, but this video is focused on making it as easy as possible, as quick as possible using minimal products and also focused on like making it really long lasting and I used all waterproof long lasting products. So this is also gonna be a nice smoky eye for bridal makeup, if you wanna make sure that it stays in place all day. Also for people with oily eyelids. Um, so I have a lot of videos where I create smoky eyes. I will make sure to link the playlist with all my smoky eye videos in the description bar. But like I said, this video is really focused on minimal products long wearing so yeah i really hope by watching this video you are gonna be able to create this black smoky eye as well so after blending the shade all the way around my eyelid i'm also gonna focus on kind of making sure that the black eyeshadow is really nicely applied in the corners as well so going in with a tiny blending brush on top of the eyelid and really focusing on the corners so now next i'm going in with this gel eyeliner using a sigma e25 brush and kind of dabbing my brush on top of the eyelid really focusing on the middle portion i really want my eyelid to be as black as possible since this is a smoky eye and gel eyeliner will make it so black. So as you can see already, it starts to look so nice and black and smoky. Um, and you really wanna make sure that you don't apply too much. You wanna cover up the whole eyelid and make it as black as possible. But once you have covered the center of the eyelid, you kinda wanna uh, clear like the excess product of your brush on a tissue to make sure that there's not that much product left. And then you're gonna blend around the edges to make it look more soft and blend it out. So it kind of fades into the black eyeshadow that I applied earlier. The thing with the smoky eye is that it can go wrong quite easily. So you wanna make sure that you are a little bit careful around the edges. And the nice thing is that we went in with black eyeshadow at the beginning. So at this point, it's not really hard to make everything look good because you already have that smoky fade into the, the crease. So you only wanna make sure that the jaw liner kind of fades into it. But it's not that hard as long as you have the eyeshadow at the beginning looking good, there's nothing to worry about anymore. Like that's just the most important step. So if that looks good, your smoky eye is gonna be good. So now I'm going in with a E50 brush from Sigma Beauty and blending some black eyeshadow underneath the lower lash line as well. Like always, I'm gonna make sure to put all the products in the description bar in case you wanna know which exact products I use today. You don't necessarily need the exact same black eyeshadow as I use today. Same goes for the gel eyeliner, but you wanna make sure that you use a long lasting gel eyeliner. So you don't want it to be too creamy because that way it can start creasing on the eyelid. Um, also a nice tip is that if you do struggle with um, that your eyeshadow is creasing, 
apply eyeshadow on top of the gel eyeliner and that's gonna lock it in place. For in my waterline, I used a pencil from Rimmel London, which is a waterproof black pencil and I actually really like it. Um, it's the pencil that I'm actually using for almost any look where I need black pencil. It's really nice and I'm also really sensitive to some eye pencils and the Rimmel London one doesn't give me watery eyes, so I really like that one. And it's also Darkstar, which is really nice. And then I used a waterproof mascara from Maybelline, and this is how it's looking so far. Um, now, something that you could do, which I think is optional, but you could also go in with a light grayish shade and blend a little bit around the edges of your crease. Now, I wanted to keep this eye look as simple as possible, so... It was already looking really good, but if you really want to go that extra step to make it look even better, this is definitely something that I would recommend, but it's optional. Like, The more steps, obviously, the better it's gonna look. The more blending you do, the better it's gonna look, but it's optional, but it definitely makes a difference. It's gonna make the crease even softer. So you could also use a blue shade in the crease, a brown shade. This is kind of going to transform the whole smoky eye into what you want it to be, but I wanted to keep it a little bit more neutral and really focus on the blackness. So yeah, this is the finished result. I really hope this video was helpful. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and definitely let me know in the comment section what kind of video you want to see next. And yeah, I just hope you all enjoyed and hopefully I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Not so bad. Can I come closer? I wanna come over. When you leave me like that. Girl, don't do me like that, ooh When I think about that I'll be coming right back home